Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this tour of all of the transportation facilities we have basically in this area. So, of course, the KRTA Alex World Light Metro owns a lot of land around here. So, over here, you will see our first of all, let's start formally. This is the I 90 interstate. So, this interstate runs all the way south to South Ferry and all the way up north going past Oscarville and Eisenhower. So in the middle for this stretch you will have the red north and south bound tracks. These tracks run all the way to the airport and all the way as far as Edensville, Deatonville, all the way up to High Street, Kensington. Buses will typically exit the highway either to go to the JM Crane garage or they will go into the um, Uloa Transit Mall. So this is the Uloa Transit Mall right here. And in here there are several different bus routes that passengers can transfer to. Across the way you do have the Jake the J.M. Crane Bus Maintenance Facility, which is this building right here. You have the J.M. Crane Bus Facility Garage, which is where all the buses are parked. And then you have the J.M. Crane Regional Bus Garage, which is where all of, all of the KRTA's yellow buses, so those aren't BRT, but those are long-range regional bus routes, buses. They're parked over on the other lot. Same model, but they're wrapped a little different. In here, this is just your offices, dispatch, and if various things that happen here when it comes to bus transportation. Going across the way, sitting on the highway, is the Alex Worldlight Metro. The Alex Light Metro, believe it or not, had to purchase easement just so that they could build this little tip. This little tip right here where the power stops for trains to turn around because it would be too short for them to stop it here. So they had to get it from Dooley County. They had to work with Dooley County to build that. Anytime there's a road going into the city of Alex World, you will see this sign. Alex World City Limits. This is the JM Crane Light Metro stop. Of course, the Light Metro is under testing, but now let's get to the main impetus of this tour. So, here is the parking for the Light Metro. Now, this compound here is the headquarters building for the Light Metro. Operators of the Light Metro will walk in. They will check in here. This is the lounge. Upstairs is dispatch and a whole bunch of administrative functions. These signs dot the property. There is a serious art flash hazard to be taken into account. So it may feel like going into a corrections facility, but really this is a high security compound, just like Eastern Yard. As a matter of fact, I think this might be the first rail yard tour we have ever really done. So do not touch these wires. They're 750 volts. This is the ancillary building. Electricity is brought in from Con Edison at 200,000 volts. And they're stepped up, stepped down, I mean, for 750 volts to feed the wires. 120 volts. To power on all of these light sticks as well as the facilities. Right now, we currently have 33 rail car vehicles. More is on the way. They will all be parked here in the future. Right now, they are being tested. Here is the washing and maintenance facility. This is the blowdown pit.
And over here is the shops and maintenance. So now let's look at the administrative side of the building. So there are three buildings here. Each one of them house different purposes. This building mainly focuses on the executive side of the Alex Warlight Metro. All of the floors will look the same. We will go straight to the executive offices floor. Over there you get a good view of our stadium, the jail, other things. These will be future cubicles, future offices. conference rooms and again all the floors do look the same so now we will go into the next building and before we do just note this courtyard here with a lot of artwork and decorative pieces. And this tour will end in this particular building. So on this floor, this is going to be more office space. For the Alex World Light Metro, here's a good view of the yard. And there is also going to be a space in between the building to let in more natural light into this building. So with that being said, that concludes our tour. Thank you for taking a tour of our transportation facilities.